Hi, and welcome back to Glassbox writing automated Java tests using WebDriver. Today we're going to have a look at taking screenshots when writing tests. We're going to have a look at how to take screenshots and why you would want to take screenshots when writing automated tests. So the first thing we're going to do is just navigate to our test site. And the user journey we're going to go through is pretty simple really. We're going to navigate to the home page and then to the adoption page, then the about page and finally the contact page. And on each page navigation we're going to take a screenshot of the page that we're currently on. So some of you might ask why bother taking screenshots? What does that have to do with automation? Well, sometimes you need to take screenshots to just visually see what's on a page. For instance, you might run tests say overnight and hypothetically speaking you let's just say you have some UI changes to some of your pages but you don't necessarily have the time to check for this UI page simply because you might have a really high number of page so a good solution to that not necessarily the best solution but a quick solution at the very least is that you take screenshots where you need to take a screenshot and once all of your tests have finished you come back and you visually look at the screenshots to identify any visual abnormalities in your pages. So taking screenshots is a really quick way of validating something has worked or that something looks correct visually when your automated tests have finished running. The beauty of taking screenshots is that depending on how you write your code you can very easily save your screenshots in specific places, you can name them specifically, you have a good amount of control in how your screenshots behave. So let's go ahead and automate the scenario we said we'd do and take screenshots on each page navigation. So the first thing I want to do is just create a basic class and I'm going to call this class page heading test and in here I'm just going to write a really basic test. So the first thing I need to do is instantiate my driver. And I need to navigate to my site. And once I've navigated to the site, I would by default be on the home page. So the next thing I need to do is click on the adoption link, followed by the about link, and then the contact link. So since we're on this page already, let's just have a quick look at the source code for this. So the adoption link has an ID with the value of adoption underscore link. The about link has an ID with about underscore link. And the same for the contact link. So let's go ahead and do that. So it's find element. My ID and it was adoption underscore link. Click on that and let's copy this another two times one for the about and one for the contact. Let's import in the required classes. So let's just run this really quickly just to make sure our test works first. So save it, right click and run the test. Okay, looks like our test has worked. In fact, we'll also close the browser. Or we'll quit the driver altogether so that we've finished our test. So what we want to do is, on each of these navigations, what we want to do is just take a screenshot. So when we take a screenshot here, let's just call this the home page screenshot. On this navigation we'll call this the adoption page screenshot. Here we'll call it the about page screenshot and similarly 
contact page screenshot so how do we write these screenshots well we can very easily just write the code here but to promote code reuse and to demote code duplication what we'll do is we'll create a web driver utility class in which we'll actually write a method which we can reuse to take screenshots so if I go in I'll create a new class and I'll call this class webdriver utils and in here the first thing I'll do is create a constructor for it and in the constructor we'll pass in the instance of the driver so I'll go over why we'll need to do that in a bit so let's just create a member variable driver and in here I'm gonna say driver or rather uh, this dot driver is equal to driver and let's import in the class so now we're going to write the method which is going to take our screenshot for us. So I'm just going to say public void take screenshot and I'm going to pass in a screenshot name. Okay. So in here the first thing I want to do is use a Selenium API to handle taking screenshots and to also effectively generate a source file so that we can take the screenshot as. So to do this what we do is you put in two open brackets and you type in takes screenshot and then outside of that driver and then you say get screenshot as and we provide an output file and we import the necessary classes so output type is type of selenium and take screenshot is the same org.open qa selenium and let's assign this to a file class so let's just say file and let's just say uh, screenshot file and let's import in the file as well which is java.io so what does this mean well what this means is we're going to use the driver to take a screenshot and this is built in into web driver and then once we've taken a screenshot we're going to get the screenshot and save it as an output type file in other words we're going to save the information we captured as a file that we can actually use and then all of this information i.e. the screenshot captured is then saved in this file so once we have the file the next thing we need to do is actually put the file somewhere so to put the file somewhere we're going to use what's called the copy file API in the file utils class so if we type in file utils and we're going to use the copy file and in here we need to name the source file in this case it's called a screenshot file and then the destination which is identified as also a new file object so we can say new file and then pass in the location of where we want this new file to be so I am going to save it in my C directory so I'm just going to say C colon backslash backslash I'm going to save it in a new directory called web driver screenshots and then I am going to name the file something so let's just say for the moment something and I'm going to save it as a PNG and end that. The reason why I'm getting a red line here is, is because the file utils class throws an IO exception so we need to handle that. So for the moment all I'm going to do is just throw it from this method. So if I highlight over it and I just get add throws declaration that should do it for me. 
so back to this something I'm gonna name it the whatever variable we pass in i.e. the screenshot name so if I just copy this and do some cleaning up here so I'm just gonna say that so what will happen now is when it tries to save the file it'll save it based on the name we pass it in this directory in my C drive which at the moment doesn't exist so if I just quickly go to my C drive in fact I'm already in my C drive I can see that that directory does not exist at the moment go back so let's just save that and now if I go back to my test what I will do is I will create a new instance of that class if I say web driver utils uh, and I'm going to name it utils is equal to new web driver utils and pass in driver obviously this won't work because I actually initialized driver second in this case so I'm just gonna have to move this up here and that should resolve it okay and now I can invoke this take screenshot method in my test so I can say util dot take screenshot and let's name this one home page and this is throwing an error because we are throwing an IO exception so oops so you know in our test we either need to get the test method to also throw it or surround it with a try and catch so, so for the moment we're going to throw it also so if I go ahead and copy this for the other three page navigations and rename them appropriately so here I'm going to call this adoption here I'm going to say about and for the final one I'm going to say contact so if I save this and run this again what should happen is it would navigate to each page but on each navigation it would also take a screenshot of that page and once it's taken a screenshot it will generate a new directory here called web driver screenshot and then inside that directory it will save each page with this relevant name so let's run this and see what happens okay so the test has finished running so if you open up our C drive we can see that it's actually generated a new directory called web driver screenshot click on that we can see it's actually also created four different screenshots matching up to our four screenshots taken in our test so if we just go ahead and open one at random so let's just open the home page so we can see it's actually taken the screenshot of the home page if you go to the next one about page it's also taken the about one the same for the adoption and the contact us. So following this we can very easily take screenshots and by building a web driver utils class we can very easily add in utility methods which we can use when writing our test to handle such actions for us so in this case taking screenshots. So like I said taking screenshots can be really handy in that they can really help us to visually see how a page looked during our automated test without having to visually sit in front of a computer and actually looking at the test. And that's it for this video folks. Thanks for watching. Hey guys, thanks a lot for watching my video. If you already haven't, hit the subscribe button to stay up to date with my latest videos which I release every Wednesdays and Sundays. Also follow me on Twitter and Facebook. Until next time, ciao.